Thousands of families are struggling to get a meal on the table these days, and Wish TV is proud to be working with several groups to make sure families are fed. Uh, with our Wish TV Hoosiers Helping Hoosiers Fun Drive for Food, that includes uh, Kroger helping us out, really stepping up in a big way here. Eric Halverson with Kroger is joining us right now. First, Eric, thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Well, good morning, and thank you for the opportunity. I have it on good authority that Wish TV has been a terrific community partner for various needs over the years, so we're glad to be working with Wish TV on this one. Wonderful. Well, we certainly, we certainly try, right? That's all we can do. Uh, right now, let's first talk about how Kroger has been working for years to really uh, battle food insecurity and, and keep families uh, fed. It's a program that's called Zero Hunger, Zero Waste, and, and this is nothing new that has been spurred by the COVID-19 outbreak. Right. I'm glad uh, you, you've picked up on that already because the hunger relief element of our philanthropic work has been essential to the Kroger mission for years, but we launched the Zero Hunger, Zero Waste program out of a recognition that there is too much food waste that's taking place around us. There are too many people going hungry. So a couple of years ago, we launched the Zero Hunger, Zero Waste program with the idea that we would eliminate hunger in Kroger communities by 2025. And that was before this need arose. So now the need for this kind of a campaign is even greater. And that's why we're glad to have this opportunity to work with Gleaners and Wish TV to raise money to put food on the table. Sure, this global pandemic has shined a spotlight on food insecurity issues, and uh, many families, as we know, are needing to go to these food pantries for the first time in their lives. Right now, there is a new way that Kroger is pairing up with Wish TV for this a food fund drive, and that's uh, when people go to check out, there's something specifically they can do to throw a little bit more money to Gleaners Food Bank. Yeah, a couple different ways they can do it. We offer an option called Roundup. If if your bill is $12.50, you can say, let me round up to $13. And the extra 50 cents will then go to our Zero Hunger, Zero Waste Foundation and then be collected, ultimately routed back to Gleaners and our various other food bank partners around Indiana. You can also do a scan, a one, five, and $10 scan at checkout, same time if you wanna do a little bit more to help put food on the table for the, the needy folks who, as you mentioned, Kylie, the people who are needing help for the first time, you can do a one, five or $10 scan. And based on what we're seeing already, this is another time to say you can never underestimate the generosity of Hoosiers because we're already seeing tremendous support for this campaign. Absolutely. You just gave me some, some goosebumps with that there, Eric. <laughs> Eric. And uh, let's talk about how Kroger is doing in general. A lot of workers there who have been going in day in and day out to make sure people do have access to those essentials. So what is Kroger doing to protect the workers, keep customers mm -hmm. feeling safe as they come in the store, the hurdles that you guys have been going through? I'm just so proud of the people who are in our stores working every day because they have gone above and beyond uh, anything that might have been expected of them before this pandemic arrived. We are doing extra cleaning of our stores. We are doing social distancing in a number of ways. We have the plexiglass packets or uh, plexiglass barriers by our uh, checkout aisles. We have markers to help people know where to social distance so they're safely spaced through the stores. There are a number of different steps we've taken to try to help people understand what the challenges are to just keep themselves safe and the customers safe. So it's it's a, uh, a cooperative effort, I would say, between associates, our Kroger associates and the customers to try to make sure we're all working through this and staying as healthy as possible. Just pivoting and adapting at a breakneck pace. Eric yeah. Halverson with Kroger, thank you for, for joining us this morning. We so appreciate your time and thank you for partnering with us to help feed some, some Hoosier families. It's our honor to be part of it. Thanks, Kylie. Thanks, Eric. And our Hoosiers Helping Hoosiers Fund Drive for Food does run now through May 8th. Our friends at Kite Realty, Kite Cares, and a corporate partner have all launched this campaign by uh, donating money in order to buy up to 100,000 meals through Gleaners Food Bank. We want you to help as well as we've made it easy to contribute to Gleaners. You can just text GIVE 
to 317-593-2400. You can go online with a credit card or PayPal. Go to wishtv.com and click on the Hoosiers Helping Hoosiers banners at the top of the page. Anyone who donates will have a chance to win one of several $250 gift cards that you can spend at more than a dozen Kite Realty locations in central Indiana. And thanks to Kite Cares, as we have mentioned, we also have partnered with Kroger and the Zero Hunger, Zero Waste Foundation. Again, as Eric mentioned, at the register, all you have to do is say round up your bill. You can also just do a swipe donation. No matter how you give, your donations will help feed people right here at home. Remember, a donation of just $1 to Gleaners can buy five meals for Hoosiers. Pretty amazing stuff. It is.